Hello. In this problem, we are given velocity versus time plot. So zero is over here for eight and 12. So velocity in units of meters per second. And then we have a time over here, units of seconds. The zero seconds is here and then one, two, three, and four seconds. So the velocity versus time plot looks like this. So it's just a straight line. Some information that we are given and it is important, we will see why. the initial position of the object is 10 meters. At t equals zero seconds. The first question is, does this particle have a turning point? If so, at what time? Well, a turning point, the definition of a turning point is that the velocity switches from positive to negative or from negative to positive. Perhaps the most, uh, the simplest example is when you throw something up, let's say like a, a pebble. So you throw it up, it has some uh, velocity, but the velocity decreases, right? Um, at some point, make it a little smaller. At some point, it, it's just zero. And then it starts coming back down. gaining velocity because it is being accelerated by gravity. Uh, there is one point here at which the velocity is precisely zero. And one of the questions that we were discussing in the lecture is whether the acceleration is ever zero. The answer is no. The acceleration is always pointing down in this case even when the velocity is zero, but the velocity can be zero. So uh, in this case, this is a velocity in X, in the uh, X axis. So this object is initially moving, this is negative four, initially moving to the left, uh, for one second, but its speed slowing down and then it reaches zero and then starts moving to the right, the positive direction, uh, accelerating. Right? So it does this. Okay, so at this point, the, the velocity changes from negative to positive. Same thing with the, with the pebble. So, does it have a turning point? Yes, it does. I'm gonna put it over here. Um, the turning point is at one second. At time equals one second. Okay. 
The second question is a little bit more interesting. What is the object's position at two seconds and at four seconds? So this is a velocity versus time plot. It does not give you the position directly, but you're being asked to calculate the position. So how do you calculate the position? Well, there's a more general and elegant way of doing it with calculus, and that's what we're going to do first. Then we're going to look at a different method. So we can, well, first we have uh, velocity equals Uh, change in position divided by change in time. If the change in time is very, very tiny, then we can call it a dt. And that when that happens, this is going to be a dx. So this is the rate instantaneous rate of change of the position with respect to time. And that is the definition of velocity. So we want to know these uh, we want to know the position. So we can do move the dt to the other side. So v dt equals dx. Mm. In order to get x, the position, we have to integrate on both sides. So I know that Many of you have not seen uh, integration yet. Do not worry about it. You know, just try to follow what I'm doing up here. Um, this is going to be towards the uh, you know, the last weeks of calculus one. Uh, dx, you probably already saw it in you know, the first the first week of calculus calculus one. So. Uh, the integral of dx is just x plus some constant. And x is what we want. Um, the velocity is given by a straight line. And we know that the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus b. So in this case, you know, the vertical axis is the velocity. So this is velocity in X. Here, the horizontal axis is time, right? So this is what we have. Um, so mm, this is velocity, okay dt and integral. And we can separate them. This is just algebra. Uh, and m is going to be the slope, which is just a constant. So we can leave it out of the integral. So m integral of t dt plus b, which is also a constant, integral of dt. Uh, equals x uh, minus x0. So c, the constant, is going to be the original position. So x minus x0 gives you the delta, delta x, right? Uh, OK, so m. The slope, we can get it from the graph. It's a uh, rise. In this case, let's say 12 uh, meters per second divided by run, which is 4 minus 1, 3 seconds. So this is equal to 4 meter per second divided by second, right? So this is four meters squared 
four meters divided by a second squared. And B, we can just find it here is negative four uh, meters per second. Okay, so we have these two constants. I'm gonna put them over here. The slope is four meters per second squared and B is negative four meters per second squared. All right, so then we can rewrite this. Mm. Actually, I will solve the integral before. So m uh, integral of t dt is t squared divided by two. Integral of dt is just t. And that is equal to x minus x naught. So these integrals, they go from zero seconds to either two seconds, that is the first thing that they ask us, and the second one is four seconds, right? So let's do the first one too for two seconds. So then this is gonna be evaluated from zero to two seconds is one, two. But zero squared is zero and zero is also zero. So we don't have to worry about the zeros here. We just have to worry about the twos. So this is gonna be you know, M is four meters per second squared. And then this is gonna be two seconds squared divided by two plus B is negative four. So I guess negative minus four, uh, the B is meters per second minus four meters per second times two seconds equals uh, X minus X naught is 10 meters. Okay, so over here we have second squared and second squared. So we can get rid of those. The units are meters. That's good because these are units of length. Um, so this will be four times four divided by two. So that's eight. So this is eight meters. Can you still see that? Yes, I think so. Minus four times two, eight. The seconds go away. You have meters. And it's eight meters equals X minus 10 meters. So this of course is equal to zero, eight minus eight. So the X, and we can put the negative 10 to the other side and we get X equals 10 meters at T equals two seconds. Good, I think you can see all of that. So that is the answer that we have on the homework, 10 meters. Okay, so this was with calculus. Is there um, an easier way to do it? Well, the easiest way to do it in general is with calculus because you know, sometimes these are not going to be straight lines. But in this case, it's a straight line, so it's fairly easy. So let's do it the other way.
Okay. So we want to know uh, the distance, the, the position um, after two seconds. So we want to know what happens up to here. So as you can see you know, here, the derivative is just the area under the, the integral is just the area under the curve. So this is telling you that the position is equal to the area under the curve of a velocity versus time um, plot. So the area of this triangle is going to be, you know, um, I'll put it over here. The, the width of this triangle is one second. And the height is negative four uh, meters per second. So the units are meters. Minus four uh, divided by two, right? Because it's a triangle. So minus four divided by two minus two meters. That is the area under the curve. So in one second, it's going to go two meters to the left. And then this triangle, the width is also one second, and two minus one. The height is four minus four minus zero, uh, positive four meters per second, divided by two because it's a triangle. So this is. Two, and then the seconds go away, two meters. So what is gonna be the position of the object after two seconds? Well, can you see that? Yes. It starts, it's gonna start at 10 meters. That is uh, x naught. In the first second, it's going to move two meters to the left, and in the next second, it's going to move two meters to the right, and so it ends up in the same spot where it started. These two areas are the same, so you know, of course they end up at the same spot. And so it's 10 meters, the x naught. And it's what we got over here also. OK, so if we want to know what is the object's position at four seconds, then we have to consider um, all of this area, right? So the width is four minus one, three seconds. The height is 12 minus zero, 12 meters per second. The seconds go away, your units are meters. You divide by two because it's a triangle. So this is 18, right? Uh, three times 12, 36 divided by to 18 or three times six, 18. So 18 meters. So in this case, it starts at 10 meters. It's going to move two meters to the left in the first second. And then it's going to move 18 meters. So it starts at eight. And then it moves. Uh, 18 meters to to the right. So eight plus 18 gives you 26 meters. 
the final position. Okay. So let's do that with our equations over here. So instead of having two seconds, we're, we're gonna use four seconds over here, four seconds over here. So this will be four, this will be four. Mm. This is gonna be four. This is gonna be four. So mm. so this is sixteen uh, times four. Uh, divided by two, so four squared, 16 times four, divided by two. So this is two, I'll get rid of this one. So this is 32. And the units are still meters. And then minus, this is gonna be uh, negative four times four, uh, negative 16 uh, meters. So this is 16 meters equals X minus 10 meters. So if we put, if we move the, um, the 10 meter over here, we get 26 meters equals X, which is the same answer that we got over here. All right, so this is, I think a pretty, um, these, are, these are very important concepts for this class. The problem itself, it's fairly easy, um, but you know, it makes a connection for you between uh, what you do with calculus and um, what you can do geometrically. And you know, the area under the curve of a velocity versus time plot, it's a distance, right? So it's a little confusing that an area is a distance, but this is, uh, this is the math. So you know, it's cool to see the, the equivalence. In every, in both, well, Definitely every exam problem and workshop problem, you're going to see only this level of difficulty. In every case, you're gonna be able to count or to compute the area under the curve from the plot that I give you. Uh, but remember that this is actually what is going on. And in some homework problems, uh, I might ask you to do something like this. All right, um, I hope you, Enjoyed the problem and learned a lot.